If you are going to do hormone replacement therapy, you really need to understand what it is and the different types of HRT that are available to you so that you can pick the safest form. My name is Dr. Gabrielle Francis and welcome to my series, Empowered Menopause. Today we're gonna to talk about the different types of HRT, herbal, compounded, medical, and so that you can know what is the best one for you. Let's do this. There's different types of HRT hormone replacement therapy, and I'm gonna talk about them now. Um, the first and the most safe type is hormone replacement therapy using herbs. So these are phytoestrogens and phytoprogesterones. They can come in tablets, teas, and sometimes they actually come in creams as well. They can also be um, bought over the counter in some cases. So phytoestrogens have estrogenic activity, phytoprogesterones are plants that have progesterone-like activity. Even if you're taking them, I usually recommend that people are taking them based on the fact that their labs are telling them that they need them. And these can be prescribed and recommended by naturopathic doctors, functional medicine people, and also integrative medicine doctors. The next level of safety um, is bioidentical natural. Bioidentical natural are usually recommended by your doctor, but they're made at compounding pharmacies. The estrogen comes from a soy derivative and the progesterone comes from Dioscorea, the Mexican wild yam. Ultimately, they are made and they are exactly bioidentical as the estrogen and progesterone in your body. They typically come in a cream form and they can be changed, their doses can be you know, adjusted and customized according to what you need based on your labs. The next level is bioidentical synthetic and these can be prescribed by your medical doctor. Often the insurance pays for them. They're bioidentical, meaning they're exactly the same as the hormones in your body, but they're made synthetically. And they'll just say estradiol and progesterone. They typically come in tablets or capsules, but they can often come in patches. And a lot of times the insurance company will pay for them. The level that's above that is a, a level that I never recommend, and that's non-bioidentical and synthetic, meaning that these are not hormones that are the same as the hormones in your body. For example, you may have heard of Premarin, pregnant mare's urine. It's an estrogen that comes from a pregnant horse. There's also things like Prometrium and Provera or there's progestins, which are progesterone-like, but not really progesterone. I don't believe that it's necessary to ever take these kind of hormones. These tend to be the ones that have the most negative side effects and the worst consequences if somebody has any kind of fibroid cysts, endometriosis, or breast cancer. So I always recommend with HRT that you start with the least invasive herbs and work your way up to the bioidentical natural or the bioidentical synthetic, but to avoid the non-bioidentical synthetic hormones for your safety. In general, all bioidentical hormones and HRT should be based on labs and you should be tested every year, as well as you should be getting monitored for your breast, your ovaries, and your uterus to make sure there's nothing suspicious as far as cancer goes. So I hope that helps you understand the different types of HRT.